I'm gonna show you right now what happened. Because you know, you're working on a Jeep and you know, and things happen, you know, unexpected things happen. Once you're working on a project car, you need to realize that uh, a lot of things can happen, right? Hello guys, welcome to another video and if you guys notice I am not on my Jeep This is a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2012-2011 And uh, the reason why I am not on my Jeep is because I finally decided to stop it uh, You know, I took it to my aunt's house and I decided just to park the Jeep right there and start working on it You know, ever since I did the modifications, ever since I put the tires and I lifted I always wanted to do a couple of things to it. I remember, I think in the, in the second video that I did, I remember that, that I said that I wanted to do some work to the steering, but for some reason my Jeep became, uh, you know, my daily driver. So I was driving a lot the Jeep and I wasn't actually working on it. The last thing that I did was taillights. That was the last video that I did. Uh, you know, which I'm still I'm still very happy with it. And I want to show you the things that I was doing to the Jeep uh, The parts that I had and the things that I actually want to do because a lot of people go crazy and they Spend a lot of money and they just buy the whole the steering system. They change the whole steering system uh, This is not what I did. So I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna take you guys with me I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've been doing Maybe you can take this path or maybe you can do something different, but this is what I did. This is what I want to do. All right, so I'm going to go over there. I'm going to show you what, what I've been working on. And then we'll talk about the things that went wrong with it. So let's do that. Let's go now, okay? All right, guys, here we are. And as I promised you, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I did to the Jeep. Once you lift it and put bigger tires, it is a must to have a better steering system set up. Now, there's a lot of alternatives. There's a lot of ways that you can do this. There is a lot of uh, modifications that you can do to the steering system. Uh, it, and it all depends on what you wanna do. In my particular case, I wanted to go little by little. A couple of things that I needed to change in the Jeep was, first of all, the steering box. The, the day that I did the lift kit on the Jeep and I put the bigger tires, I took this Jeep to Carnage Motorsports and they did all the installation process. And I remember the guy that was working on the Jeep, he told me that the next thing that I had to do on the Jeep was the steering box. To change the steering box because there was a lot of play on the steering. And I started searching online and started looking for you know the best alternative to do this and I found this great deal and that was this company named Iron Man 4x4 Fabrications or something like that they have a combo they have the serum brace plus a serum box from Blue Top which is another company they have this business going on that they put everything in one package and they send it to you I'm gonna show you right now what happened because you know you're working on a Jeep and you know and things happen, you know, unexpected things happen. Once you're working on a project car, you need to realize that uh, a lot of things can happen, right? So the power steering pump, these little connections that you see here, I don't know if you can see it, but this little plastic connection here, uh, I was trying to get the hose out and I accidentally broke it. So yeah, it's a big deal because the steering pump that came with the Jeep was perfectly fine. It didn't have any problems. So that was the first problem that I had while I was working on it. So initially I was just gonna change the steering box, you know, and that's it, and put the steering brace. But since this happened, I had to buy a whole new power steering pump. Thank God they had it on AutoZone, so I got it for, it was relatively cheap, like I said, 70 bucks. Uh, that, I have to pay for this and then the other problem is that in these stores they don't sell you the whole pump with a pulley so you have to buy the pump and you have to buy the pulley or you can use your old pulley you know but the problem is that I didn't have the tools to remove it so while I was trying to get it out I also broke the pulley that came with the old steering pump 
put this new this is also new this uh, this pulley is new and then when I got all this sorted out then I started working underneath the Jeep so this thing that you see painted in red this is the steering brace from from Iron Man and as you can see it is a very solid piece of metal it is a very very nice well done product and I have absolutely zero complaints about the quality the build quality of this thing this is a sector shaft support so what's gonna happen what it does it grabs uh, let me see if you can see it right here it grabs the pit one arm right here and it gives it more strength and support to the steering system and the whole purpose of doing this let me bring you up over here I don't know if you can see down there but it has another bracket that holds the steering box in place and it gives it more strength as well because if you look over here this is a blue top steering box and I don't know if you can see right here but it has like a bracket set of brackets right here that it holds the steering box in place and it gives it more strength as well this whole system actually works very well but when I was trying to work on it, I realized that the sway bar didn't clear. So I have to talk to them and say, hey, you guys forgot about the, the sway bar drop brackets. And, um, and they were really nice. They, they, they sent it to me in like one day or two and I got it like three days. And thanks to that, I was able to put it in there. And then I think it has like two inches of drop. I'll say two inches of drop and then one and a half inch uh, forward so as you can see here the sway bar is not completely straight it's a little bit um, forwards and uh, that's it guys this is a whole system this is what I got this is what I did to the Jeep and this is the heavy-duty Tyra from rough country that's all I did it took me about a week because of all the problems that I have with the steering pump and everything but thank God I was able to do it it was in between me and my dad that we did everything and that's it that's all i did to the jeep that's definitely an improvement for the steering nothing too crazy nothing too expensive also one more thing that i forgot to tell you the steering box you can also add the hydra assist to it and uh, you can do so for 70 bucks more i believe so i can't remember well because that was like a couple months ago that i ordered this set but i think that if you pay like 70 bucks more they will port it for you so you have that option i did it on mine i have the option to go hydro assist with it but it's good to know that you have that option in there and that you can use it later the next video guys will be about my impressions on this set and if it actually makes a difference if you do this so i'm gonna be comparing the previous system or what i have before to this how the jeep used to drive before and how the jeep drives right now of course before doing that i'm gonna get the alignment i'm gonna get a couple of things adjusted on the jeep to actually give you a good review after i will let you guys know if i actually feel the difference and if 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 it's worth it to go for it if it's not worth it i will also tell you guys as usual guys subscribe to the channel uh we just hit 100 subscribers in the last week which is amazing and you know i haven't been posting frequently and you guys have been supporting the channel uh thank you for that and you know if you want to see more of this build just subscribe to the channel with there will be more videos i will try to do my best to post at least once a week and i hope to see you guys in the next video take it easy